So my first is Andres. He is five years old. He's gonna be six in July. In 2010, he was born fine until he had about 18 to 20 months roughly. He wouldn't acknowledge us when we would call his name. We thought initially he was going deaf because we would scream and scream his name and he wouldn't respond. So we went to the Erickson Institute. The next day we had to come in and that is when we were told that he was diagnosed with autism. We're in the process of moving from my mom's house. I had made sure that Andy was in my mom's room where I'd seen him. My mom was working summer school at that time and she had come home. We said hi and everything and she came in. She said, was asking, where's Andy? And we we're like, well, he's in your room. And she said, no, he's not. And the door, the front door is wide open. I knew right away, you know, like he's gone. I ran outside going up and down the block. I called 911 and you know, everybody's bawling and crying because we can't find him. I thought I was never gonna see him again. It was scary. And knowing he, he doesn't know his name, he doesn't know his address, he doesn't know his phone number. How are people gonna know who my son is? After that, we said, this is never gonna happen again. You know, we have to get a service dog or something that's gonna help us. And they told us it's not how cute they are, it's how they match with your son. And he really enjoyed just holding on to Corky and having Corky just kind of sit next to him. At that moment, we knew, okay, I think they're telling us, like, this is a match. He's just a typical dog when you're in my house. But once he puts that vest on, he changes. He knows he needs to be at work. He knows he needs to be in tune to what Andy is doing. So Andy's tethered to him when we go out and he keeps Andy from running away from us, running into the street, getting hit by a car, even in the parking lot. The biggest thing was the safety for us. You know, we just didn't want to have to go through that scenario again where we lose Andy because we might not be lucky the next time. Our vision for him has changed. You know, when you have a child, you know, you, ex you, you have these visions of, you know, things for them and what you want for them. And then when you get that diagnosis, it's like that, person dies you know so you grieve that person for a little while but then you realize like you the love is still there he's still your son he's still your child and as long as you're gonna push forward they're gonna be okay <laughs>